Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am back in the stamp room. A little sore but I'm here. <laughs> okay March 2024's Paper Pumpkin Alternative. This is video number 18. For those of you who may have never seen my paper pumpkin alternative videos I do not do any of the projects as they were designed so this is the project sheet three of this project three of this card they're all cards and three of this one on the back you have a QR code for other projects a visual of everything in the kit and the cording stamping up colors if you would like to see everything that comes in this kit videos one through five do that after that I no longer take the time to do so. So guys, I showed you in a mail call video, if you followed me in that, that I got these envelopes. There you go. Um, these are mailing envelopes with the window. Uh, my husband got me this large amount, <laughs> crazy amount, when all I wanted to do was try this. I am going to try to use this for a shaker card. So this is that video. We're going to work, try, try it out. So let me show you what I have stuff in the envelope. I have one of those pre-made card bases and a dollar store butterfly that are an add-on from July 2021's Paper Pumpkin Kit that I didn't use, so we're using them up now. So this is representing my, it would have been a white card base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. If you, of course, I'm using this, but I would use a white one, but I'm using up what I have. Okay, layer number one is four and a quarter by five and a half of gorgeous grapes simply to cover up that. Next, I have, let's dump it all out there, right? Okay, I'm using this last sentiment strip. It's the last of this shape from the kit. Um, like I said, I have a large window envelope, mailing envelope, um, that we are going to cut down. And hopefully this is going to work like a shaker card without having to do the acetate or any dimensional on it. So this is an experiment, something that was running through my head. I have some gorgeous grape ribbon that I got off of the clearance rack a while ago, and we're going to use a bit of that. If you don't have any purple or gorgeous uh, grape ribbon like I do, um, cut one of the small rectangulars down in half, because this is like half an inch cut. Cut it in half, and then you'll have a piece to do the... Oh my goodness, I do have more of them. I had it turned over this way. I thought that was the back one when I pulled it out. So that goes back. That's good to know. And what else? Oh, and I am using this um, bit of card. This is scored right here. So this is the right-hand side of card front of today's... Of a card base. So let's get started. Like I said, this is an experiment. Oh! I made shaker bits. I wanted shaker bits that were perfectly flat. So let me show you. It's out here recovering. What can I do? So thank you, Tammy, Miss Tammy Shade. <laughs> so most of these are done with these little punches that Miss Tammy sent me um, a while ago. So this one doesn't like to punch very well. So there's not hardly any of that one. But I made up my own confetti, my own shaker bits using these, which I will go back in. And then I also used, Miss Stella sent me this little square one. So I have bunches of those. And I used my fave little stamping up little punches here. And I did some in vellum. I did little red hearts. I got tons of red hearts. This is glimmer paper. I've got stars here in glimmer paper, holographic paper. I just did a whole bunch. I even did this flower. I did a whole bunch of just sitting here and punching. So if you give me a second, I would like to put all of these back in the drawer. But I wanted to show you what I used. And those are not going in the right spot. I dropped them. All right. And all of those, I don't know if the drawer will even shut now that I've shoved them all in there, but they're off of the desktop. Ugh, it, it's hard to 
no abdominal strength whatsoever. So anyways, I'm not going to use all of these, but, oh, do we have gold? Maybe we'll use, I want round ones. So these are round little gold bits. Um, don't want any of those. I don't want any stars. I have some squares, some of those. We'll see. And I did a whole bunch of vellum and I just put them in little envelopes. So we're gonna keep those all out and see what we use. Oh, we might use silver because of the butterfly. So let, let's get this, let's get started. So we need to first glue our Please let this be the glue bottle. I want, so I'm going to glue this down, the gorgeous grape to the card base. Ah. This one doesn't have the little rubber band on it. I need to bring some more of those out here. That was a great idea, Susie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops. Trying to just go around like in a maze, like you're trying to get out, right? All right, we just need to get that glued down. I may need to trim it. I think that's gonna work. I think that's good. All right, so need to get another rubber band, <laughs> desperately. All right, so we're gonna stamp on this and we are gonna stamp in Gorgeous Grape, of course. Um, hmm. I'm going to use this on my card front heartfelt thanks. Then I'm going to use have a beautiful day because I cut out birth of birthday and made my own. So this is what I want here. Now, you, you guys know I'm not going to just leave that, right? Let's see. This is not, there's not really enough on there to do anything with that. So it's the speckly bits for me, right? I thought this one had speckly bits. This one actually, this stamp set did have these wee little ones. Let's use those. So we're going to stamp off, stamp off, and do it here. <sighs> Just huffing a little there and a little there. That works. That gives me a little bit more. And move that aside. Heartfelt thanks is going to go on in a minute. Let's move all of these. I'm trying to get the guillotine back over here, guys. That's what I'm attempting to do. So we have a card base. We can put that aside, that aside. I need to cut this down to four by five and a quarter. Quarter. So four by five and a quarter, and I want it taken off of the top. So now I'm going to tell you this, even though it has that crease in it, this is going to go on the inside of my card. So let's put that down right now. This is going to go just right there it's gonna be fine even though it has I haven't like folded this over if I had folded this at any time I wouldn't be using it but since I hadn't folded it yet creased it on the um, score line it's gonna work out just fine let's hopefully if I can get it on the paper that is that'll Okay, I'm not all, I don't have the, I'm not all fluid yet. <laughs> so that looks really great. What do I want to put on the inside? We have, have a beautiful day, heartfelt things on the front, and the inside is going to have put, it's the little things. Uh, might have pushed it to do this other video here. So there's that. We're going to add our little um, speckly bits. Stamp off. There's some there. And there's some 
right there. Just that little bit. So this is ready. Now this is also ready. And I want to take the heartfelt thanks. Now I really have to go around my stamp pad because this needs to be re-inked. And I have no gorgeous grape re-inker. And I already placed an order, so not much else is going to happen. I'm thinking, I want to look at it because it's going to be in this window, right? So I'm going to use the trees as a place to look for where I want it. If I put it over here, I can put the butterfly there. So I want it in between these two trees. Hello, Mr. Zed. What scared you? Big old Lucy sitting on the porch. <sighs> Since I already inked it up, I'm going to huff. Heartfelt thanks is going to go right there. Ta-da! All right. So this piece now is going to get glued in this envelope. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. I got... You guys, all the dogs are coming out here. Kind of crazy. So this, I want to show you. This is going to go in here. That's the little chihuahua, by the way. And Hank is home and all chaos is going to break off. So look at how good that looks. That looks really good. My card base, you can see it there. Now I'm going to, I'm folding it over so I can see where I'm going to cut. So we're just going to crease it with our hands. Then I'm going to come in probably about, um, put that on, let's say, the three quarters of an inch. Now, this is a great pocket for, maybe we'll use that on another card and make that into a pocket. All right. Put that aside. We are going to glue this to the inside of our cut down envelope, okay? So I need to, I'm putting glue on the back side, not on the front, on the back. I sure hope this comes out the way it does in my head when I thought about this. So have to decide if you want the fold at the top or the bottom and mine is going to be at the bottom so I'm going to take this not worried about it smearing it I'm pushing it all the way in to the edge of the envelope see like so okay and I'm going to give it a good rub down if I could get the bone folder out now I'm going to glue this flap shut. And this part in here needs some glue too. So there we have it. Thank you, Hank. And this is going to come up. Now, to cut down on the bulk of this, watch what I'm going to do. I am going to take this and cut this at an angle here. Take this, cut it at an angle, and this is back now. I'm just going to cut this off. You ain't going to see the backing, so it doesn't matter how you cut it. I'm going to add a little glue here just to keep that. Oh, yeah. You got to put the shaker bits in there, guys. What a catastrophe that would have been had I had continued gluing. Hmm. Okay, where's all the shaker bits? So we have some, these are half an inch circles in vellum. Okay, I don't need all four dogs out here. I don't know what they think they're doing. These are half an inch circle punches of vellum. I'm going to take a pinch of this. Put it in there. Ooh, that's going to work out nice. I'm going to take some of these scalloped circles, which are like a, a quarter of an inch. I'll take a little pinch of these. Put them in there. And we had the silvery bits. So I have these silvery ones, circles. But the thing with these is I need to make sure... 
Let me get them. This is the only problem. I can make sure the silver side is going in the envelope. So I'm sorry you guys can't. But I am flipping them over. See? Okay, so I know an easier way to do this. Let me grab a little scrap of paper I have here. Flip them all over. And these are holographic papers, just little scrap bits that I had in a little bin here. These are these were made by a confetti punches um, that Miss Tammy had sent me. Oh, Hank is on the roll there. Those two bits, I'm not worried about those. We'll get those out of the way. So I'm going to scrape these all the way down to my table. You guys can't see me get them off, but I'm putting them onto the scrap piece of paper, hopefully, without getting them turned over. All right, this one turned over, and now I'm going to slide those in there like so. Oh, I still got some that didn't work all the way. Well, we can leave some white in there. It's going to be okay. Get down. I like it. I like it. What else can I put in there? We don't have any gold. I don't have any black. And I almost did black and I didn't. All right. What else do I have? I don't want anything bulky. So, no gold. We're just going to leave it like that. This is an experiment after all. Flip it over. Now I can glue it all the way shut. Okay, making sure. It's really hard to see the glue with this print on there. I'm going to put some here. All right. So there is... Looks like I'm going to come in here and trim this a little like so. Just because I don't want any. Look at there. We made a flat shaker card. Oh. Oh, that came out great. So I forgot I wanted to. Hold on. Let me shut my door. Oh, hurry up. Bring your little self in here. Are you in the video? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, every, my little dog, I was going to let shut the door because everybody's out and making noises. So <laughs> my little dog decided she was not staying out there. She was run her little self back in here. All right. So this, I forgot I wanted to stamp. Oh, get ahead of myself. So I'm going to take my little speckly bits, my itty bitty backgrounds. And I am going to go around the outside. Now, this stamp set, of course, comes with a speckly bit. Use it if you don't have this very old retired one. It's just this is bigger and it will go oh, much, much farther. So we have this. Oh, I forgot. Have a beautiful day. Okay. Heartfelt thanks. Do I put this down here? I for Okay, this is going to have to... I was going to use ribbon now. I'm going to have to use like a vellum. Something or other. Because I forgot and I stamped it there and I cannot take it back. But I can add this here. And then add that. I can still add my ribbon because I really wanted this off to the side. I could add the ribbon and do a bow that almost... Hmm. Alice, you messed up, honey. Let's see if I can fix this. So I can take my ribbon, add a piece to the side, bring that like right to the edge, and do have a beautiful day. Or just add... What if we just... 
left the heartfelt thanks and did the butterfly. And did the ribbon. Guys, I'm so confused now. I really like that right there. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some ribbon here and some ribbon across the top. So this is not being used. We'll have to put that on another card. Um, so I need just enough ribbon to go around it. Nothing fancy, just ribbon, no knot, no nothing. I want this to be flat, kind of my experiment here. And so I'm going to add one there and one here. And then I'm going to add my butterfly right there. That is going to work. Guess what, guys? Mr. Frog has been found. He's going to come in and help us out today. So I'm going to add a piece here. And a piece there. All right, now to get this like popped up where I want it. Like so. Oh, I lost Mr. Frog's tape. Okay, that one's down. We want it at least straight. That envelope worked really, really well. And this one, that looks about even. Top and bottom. Unique little spin on a card. That is not even. All right, there we have it. Now this is gonna go down onto the card base. Like so, and you're gonna have just, we could have made it a little smaller, but that is gonna be perfect. And do I want tear tape or we could glue this down, we could tear tape it, we're gonna wet glue it down, but I am gonna, Make sure, guys, that I get lots of glue. Around my edges. That's where I want. I don't want nothing bringing this up. So kind of going. Should have got out the large bottle of Tombow. Multi-purpose glue. Because sometimes the little ones just don't get enough. They're great for little spaces, but still need that big bottle every now and then. Though I tend to pour it all in here because it's, I use less of it. It doesn't seep out. Let's see if that works. That does the trick. Straighten her out. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna give it a really good rub down just to make sure I've got my glue. And guys, this is gonna go through, this is gonna pass the postmaster's inspection for a flat card. Even my butterfly is flat. Thank you, Mr. Frog. I'll try not to lose you again. Can't promise Mr. Hank won't take you off, but. Get this butterfly and that is gonna go right here I wish I had all I do have are the let's see what do we have that's flat we could add okay remember that little gem ribbon from the dollar store these will pass through so we're gonna use these to add a little something 
on our card. I'm just cutting off. Oh, I already have some cut up. What am I doing? I have some cut up. And we need the glue dots. Glue dots. I have these, but I had glue dots here. Let's get another package since I don't know where they went to. I was cutting them up. My aunt shared with me because I used all of them. That goes away. Let's see. I want, we want kind of the purpley ones, hopefully, or the silvery ones. I could do them on the ribbon, but then I'd have to double down on... I think I do want them on the ribbon. I think I want two up here, two here, and three here. One, one, two, I don't want that one. This one will do. Uh. There. One, two, three. That's what we're going to do. Those will go into it. I'll have to cut the other little bit up. So first of all, I'm going to secure my ribbon to my window envelope, which is now my shaker card. And it worked, guys. Okay, if I can get that little bit out of there, secure that down which might help if it's secured straight down and not up at an angle. One on there. Two. Three, we need to secure this down. And one on top of where we just put it, and one for the other one. Try not to damage the ribbon. It does not want to leave this glue dot. All right, this one. So what do you guys think? Think you guys could let me know what you think of my use of the uh, window envelope. I'm thinking of showing this to some demonstrators at a demonstrator event I plan on doing in um, July. I'm hoping they will think it's as cool as I think it is. So this one's going in the center. This one's going there. There. This one has some little fabric bits, plastic and fabric there that needs cut off. There and there, and let's get off all those little bits. Uh, it does work. Maybe it does. Why are my pieces all stuck down there? Now they're moving. Oh, so cool. I think there's so many there. I'm Next time I'm going to glue it here so they don't get stuck around there. That's It does need a little work as far as get it gluing it closer to the edge because there are, all of them are down in here. But anyways, that's the card, the inside. And let's work on our little envelope here. Which I could do this. <laughs> I could glue this to here. Or glue it to the back. Let's do that. Because I made a mistake and I want to use it. So I'm going to get as close to the outside as I can. I know I could have used it on a different project. But I really liked it going with everything else. And I want to make sure it's on here really well. 
this is on the back and it's really actually nice. It's bringing the gold from here to the back. And then I'm just going to do a little, a little, Here, just like that and then I'm gonna come in at an angle and yes I'm going to put the little flower if I can get everything flat just here let's do three in one here I think we're going to leave it at two. I wish I had a little butterfly, which I know I do somewhere. And do I want darker ones? Yes. I'm going to use, this is from the kit. All right. So we need the little bit of yellow, which, where's my daffodil? light. Okay. Ooh. Can't believe that this is, we did it. I like it darker. And yes, blender pen. Really quick and easy. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't tried a blender pen, please do yourself a favor. Even if you just get one package, get one package. The tips may die, but they can be used on different colors. Mine looks red, but I'm using it in purple. Just the way it is. It would have been cute, too, to use this little stamp and stamp in the corners if I had thought to do that, but I didn't. So my little window shaker card, which... I just have to get them unstuck from in there. Maybe I need to do more because they are stuck down here. So next time I got to go around the window. But anyways, that's video number 18, a shaker card bit. I needed more and they're all stuck in there. I will have to perfect that. I will have to. Now they're stuck at the top. Oh my goodness. There. Now you can see them in their vellum. They're nice, clear, easy. I didn't want anything too bulky, though you could do bulky things in here. Let's do it the test. Let's do the test. So we're going to stick it in its envelope. Hopefully those gems on the front will not cause it. Hmm, I don't think so. We'll see. Maybe I messed up by putting those on there. Let's see. Test. Oh yeah, that slides. It slides. It's going to work. It's going to do the job. All right. So once again, video number 18 for Paper Pumpkin April 2024's alternative. Oh, nice little change, huh? Thanks, guys. I hope that you like it enough to leave me a comment, a like, a share. They all help me out, guys. They help YouTube to um, prompt my videos for upcoming next and on your feeds for your video. That's why those likes and the subscribing helps, but um, comments, sharing, those all go help to get my videos out there and share. And that's what I love so much about doing this. And I couldn't do it without your help. So thank you so very much for your support. And I invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.